Hello. Okay, I just wanted to pop on really quick. I haven't been on here in a live video in a while, um, and I don't have a super busy Friday, so I thought I would just pop on, kind of give you an update on what's happening with me. Um, it's January, so I don't really have any weddings, which is totally fine by me. After the holidays, I can use a little bit of a break on big orders. However, this week I did have a ton of cookies, and you never know. You never know from week to week what you'll get orders for. So this week I had a last minute order for Christmas cookies from a family that had to delay their Christmas celebration because of COVID. So they could get their Christmas cookies. I also had a unicorn cake like every week. I have one more cake due tomorrow that's super girly, super fancy. It's got pinks and mauves and golds and off-white. It's very girly and very pretty. And then I had um, a large cookie order for a virtual baby shower, which I thought was brilliant because the cookies are gonna be packaged individually. They're gonna drop all the cookies to everybody that's invited to the party and then they'll all log in virtually together and eat the cookies and have their little baby shower. So I just wanted to give you an update. That's why I've been on here a lot. The Christmas thing had me going 100 miles an hour. Now it's January, I'm planning for the current year. I'm gonna be doing more lives hopefully. I'm gonna be doing a lot of the Zoom classes that I did with a few of you over the fall and winter where I teach you to do certain things. Um, and I'm actually starting to book uh, coaching clients for the year, which is like me teaching you how to bake, me teaching you how to decorate cakes, me teaching you how to start a side hustle if that's what you wanna do, or a small business if that's what you wanna do in the cake dessert world. Um, so I'm trying to do a lot more teaching because I've come to realize I really enjoy that aspect of all this. But anyway, for today, like I said, I have a cake to decorate here shortly, but I wanted to show you some of the cookies I've been working on. The, one, the cake that I'm gonna make later tonight has French macaroons on top, um, kind of as part of the decoration. So I made a batch, I mean, I have more than I need, which is not a bad thing, because if you've never had one of these, it is like eating a slice of heaven. It's so good. They're a little bit, they're very light in texture, but they're a little bit, there's a little slight crunch, and it's chewy and soft in the middle, and it's super, super sweet. So it looks like, you know, a little sandwich cookie. I don't know how to describe that, but they're super cute. These are pink, obviously, but you can make them any color you want. You can change up the flavors. These are just a vanilla base, and then you can add jam fillings if you want to, but I'm gonna use these, and some of them will have paint with a little bit of gold shimmer, and I'm gonna put them on top of the cake. It's gonna be so cute, and all the extras I get to eat, but really, if you've not had these, they're amazing, and they're gluten-free because they're made with almond flour. It's fantastic. So there's a lot of sugar in them, like a lot. So if you're trying to cut back on your sugar intake, this may not be what you want to try. So one of the ones that I pay a little bit of gold on, this is just one of the shells. I haven't actually made it to the sandwich side yet. So that's what the flip side looks like. But the, I paint a little bit of gold shimmer. How cute is that? It's going to be great. So those are going to go on the cake. And then I also made for that same order, some decorative sugar cookies, and these are little wine glasses. I know it's hard to see with the glare. They have the gold and pink and mauve outline. They have a 30 on them for our 30th birthday. And for the virtual baby shower, I made like a twin pack of decorative cookies. So those are onesie and a little baby hat, little baby winter hat. And they have the initial, the R on all of them. They don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so they're all like pastels of greens and yellows and pinks and blues. Um, I did several different patterns. Here's another one where there's a white onesie with polka dots and a little pink hat. So I did several sets of these. So each guest gets two cookies, but they're packaged individually, so they don't have to eat them both at the same time. I thought that was a really cute idea. And I've done a lot of cookies since COVID because that is an individual dessert that they can package separately and hand out to people, and it doesn't feel like they're someone's touching their slice of cake or their cupcake. Um, so all those things I've been doing a lot of. So. But I just wanted to show you kind of what I've been working on um, and tell you a little bit about what I had coming up for this year. So if any of you have tried to place an order with me for this month and I've told you no, I am sorry. I'm trying to cut back a little bit um, just because uh, it's just it, it, trying to keep up with all of it in one week with the orders and the icing and the baking is great and I appreciate the orders, but as I get older, it's not so simple on my body. My feet hurt, my hands hurt, my wrists hurt, so I'm just cutting back a hair. Don't panic. Um, so I would advise you, if you want to place an order, to place it as far in advance as you can. Even if you aren't sure what you want, just let me know the date and the 
idea of what you're thinking that you might want and that way I can get you set on my calendar. Um, so anyway, but if you are interested in learning how to do any of this, even if it's just for fun, the Zoom classes will last about an hour to an hour and a half depending on what we're making and we usually cover two or three different things. I actually want to do one before Valentine's Day, so maybe the end of this month, the end of January, where we cover all things chocolate because Valentine's Day to me is chocolate. So we might do some chocolate ganache stuff, some chocolate dipped strawberries, some Oreo pops. Um, we could even do cake pops if you want to. All things chocolate. Um, maybe even some chocolate bunt cakes. I used to call them sweetheart cakes and you make, you get a heart shaped bunt pan like the individual size ones, bake a chocolate cake in it and then you pour chocolate ganache over top of it and then put a few chocolate dipped strawberries on top. So good. So if you're interested in that class, comment on this video or message me and let me know what in the chocolate world do you want to learn how to do. Do you want to learn how to bake something chocolate or decorate something with chocolate or dip something in chocolate? Um, just ask me all things chocolate. Um, the French macaroons can even be made in chocolate. This would be a little bit hard to do in a Zoom class. We can try if you want to. Um, they're extremely tedious, I'm not going to lie. They're, they give me a run for my money when I make these. When I make these, I have to have all chaos out of my face. I have to focus the recipe right beside me because they are very, very finicky, but so, so worth it. Do you have any questions about chocolate or French macaroons or sugar cookies? Um, you can actually package the French macaroons separately as well if you want to. You can put one in each bag, but again, they're very, very light. Um, so I'll actually show you one that I'm not going to be using. All right, so this one is what I call a reject because they got too flat. But they're like eggshells on top, so watch if you can see that or not. I can literally poke my finger almost all the way through that top shell because it's like it's it's egg whites and a lot of sugar and almond flour, and so it's just very very frail. So when you if you were to package these, you'd have to be careful not to crush them, not to put too many in a box, um, all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit more delicate than a sugar cookie is. Um, so anyway. So if anybody has any questions about the Zoom classes, if anybody has any questions about like the coaching or teaching aspect of what I'm going to be doing this year, let me know. It's all virtual. So COVID or not, we can totally do it. I actually am starting with a new client next week. Um, and she signed up and we're going to be doing that. And it's like a six week plan. So we talk five to six days a week for six weeks and not just talk, but I mean, that's, that's how long the program lasts. I'm pretty much in your back pocket while you're learning this. I'm sending you video tutorials. I'm sending you recipes. We're back and forth on Messenger, through Marco Polo app, video text, all the things to keep us in touch so that I can answer all your questions as they arise for you and also be there to give you instructions. So that's, it's really fun. I had several clients that signed up with me this past fall and winter and I absolutely loved it. And it's super fun to talk to people about cake all day because that's what I think about all day. Um, so. If you're interested, just let me know. Um, I'm also gonna try to do more YouTube videos on different things. I usually do pretty, what I consider classic decorations on YouTube, like stuff that most people can handle even if they're fairly new to cake decorating. But if there's something that you're really interested in learning how to do, like something more advanced or just a particular technique, let me know and I will do my best to fit that into my schedule that making a video of that specific thing. But that's pretty much all I have today. I'm going to sit here and drink a little bit of coffee and eat a French macaroon. And then I'm going to start on my cake and deliver it tomorrow. And then my weekend will be done. And I'm very excited about that. But if you have any questions, please pop on. Let me know. Thank you all that showed up live today to watch. I'm sorry it's so short, but I got to get back in the kitchen. Thanks for watching, guys.